Hello everybody, welcome back to Cougar Talk Weekly. Uh, today we are going to talk about some of the stuff that has been going on around the community lately. Obviously the crown crates um, not being able to be gifted, but to go through this like heckling thing. Um, now there's people that are saying that they're sending tickets to get the crown crates uh, to, to their subscribers or whatever from like giveaways and such. And then Sauce is telling them, no, you can't do that because it is against the terms of services to do that. And I mean, it does say something like that in the terms of services, but Gina Bruno has actually said it in the past that this was okay when they introduced the uh, gifting and, and such. And a lot of um, the staff was giving money back to the players when they got scammed. Um, if they provided enough documentation and if it was done in the game, uh, not on Discord or anything like that. And now they're kind of going back and saying, well, nope, this is not okay. So I'm not sure if maybe like they have uh, a new support team that um, has like new rules or if Microsoft has said, no, we're not gonna like take that anymore. I'm not really sure exactly what happened there. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting. And, um, <laughs> the funny part in us, Update 39 is coming up. We will be talking about the, uh, Update 39 in the next Cougar podcast. But, <laughs> I actually was online in the server this started happening to whenever it started. Um... There was a thread posted saying booted from server and then says account permanently banned. Um, I was actually in the EU server at the time. This is in the middle of the day here. It was the night time over there in EU. It was about 1 p.m. central, um, which is usually about 6, 7 p.m. over there in the UK. Um, somewhere around that. It was prime time, and that's when um, I like to play in the EU server at that time. There's not much going on in our American server, so I go over there, have some fun, and then come back in the American server during our prime time. Well, little of me, I was, I was literally doing Ritz. I was doing some dungeons, and then I was in Craglorn farming and hoping to get into some pugs. Um, trials that they had. Everybody, guys, everybody literally started saying, hey, there's a glitch going on right now. People are getting banned left and right. We don't know what's going on. And the funny part is that, um, I mean, it's not funny in a way, but it's good that everybody as a community there, they started saying all of this in all the guild chats people went zone to zone posting this that way to give people a concept like hey do not log out don't do don't do this don't do that it seems like it's tied to this getting you know this glitch and lo and behold Serfina Waterstar um says PS EU happening to numerous guildmates what is going on um obviously needs to be fixed same here and before anyone suggests i have done nothing something wrong nope never cheat in the game and then wookie cat's like this discussion is going to be interesting the moderators will also love reading all about this and somebody posted their um email because this this actually was sent out if you got banned you you were sent the email saying hey like this is this is what it is and it, a lot of it has tied to um, being like timed out or something. Um, one of the guildies in EU that I had was playing a Tales of Trivia match. They kicked it out, like they kicked them out of uh, the server. And then when trying to log back in, like, you know, hey, you know, just a normal kick, they were banned. Um, another guildie was just doing Ritz. And they were traveling to another zone to start, you know, questing or whatnot. They got kicked off. Banned. Boom. 
And then there's people that were abusing what we will later find out why this was happening. Um, it tied to a daily endeavors um, glitch. People were basically doing numerous amounts of daily endeavors, even though you can only do three a day. You can the the glitch was you can literally just go go off and tie and get like a million um of endeavors it was not reporting uh correctly and you were getting endeavors even though you had already done it if you did it again you get the number of endeavors and so on and so forth some people didn't do this intentionally um it just happened and they didn't realize it and then some people were exploiting it and those are the ones that are unfortunately for them they're they're permanently banned i mean sauce is not sauce is not joking when it comes into into this situation so you know have some fun in that because it it's not happening folks and then there's some people that were just like oh shoot i got banned um like I said, a couple of my guildies got banned from multiple guilds. It wasn't just, it was, it was a pretty widespread ban actually. And a lot of people in EU were like, what's going on? Like, why is this happening? A lot of people were scared to log out of their accounts. Um, there, there's some guys that were like, well, I got to go to work. You know, I'm going to have to just park my tune somewhere, let it time me out and hope for the best. Or I gotta shut my PlayStation off and hope for the best. Um, and it was it was chaos. It was chaotic. Um, considering that I actually experienced it firsthand, I was scared to get off the game too, because I said this is this is gonna be bad. I mean, I I was not. Um, I was positive that I would get my account back, don't get me wrong, but I didn't know how deep the bug was that, uh, you know, that says anything. And somebody says, do you have any mods add-ons installed? No, this was in PSEU, so no add-on, fancy for me or my prog, majority of whom have also been banned now. Um, this is, you know, it was in PSEU. There's no mods. You can't have mods. It's stressful. Um, it was stressful for a lot of people. And, you know, <laughs> it was crazy. And then, well, it only took a day, granted. Um, most of the, the guys and gals that they got banned... They, they came back the next day. If it was me, I would have asked for some other form of compensation as well. Because that, that is crazy, you know, to get banned like that. Trigger happy ban. Um, <clears throat> but um, there's some people like, yeah, there's some people that logged off completely. And they're like, whatever, I'm not like trying to get into this situation. Um, one of the things that it was tied to Reaper's March, the the bug was tied to Reaper's March, so I don't go over there anytime, rarely. So there you go. And then there's people that were saying, guys, like why is is ESO doing this so quickly? Because shouldn't they like investigate first? No. They shouldn't investigate first. Um, this this is definitely the response that you would want. Because you don't want somebody to exploit something so quickly. And at the time, guys, we didn't know this. You know, it was an exploit that, that started triggering this. Um, which makes me very happy to know that the Elder Scrolls Online personnel are actually doing what they need to be doing when dealing with people that are cheating, hacking, exploiting, whatnot. And to be honest, like, I, I get it. Um, the only thing is that I really do wish that some people maybe would have asked for something, some kind of compensation 
for their lost time, um, especially, you know, with ESO Plus, the event that was happening, you know, and that is still happening right now, Senathar. Now, the team, the, the, the Cinemax team came out and said, after this whole situation uh, came out, they're like, this is what's happening. You know, if you exploited, we're still trying to figure out how to take care of the issue. If you're exploiting this, then you will get banned. They said, <laughs> if you're exploiting this, you will get banned. So people, please don't don't do something stupid like that. Um, it's I think they're still trying to fix it. It's gonna be like a little quick patch. I'm not sure if it's just an EU or if you can do it in NA. But to be honest, I wouldn't even try to do it. Uh, just kind of just <laughs> let it go. But. <clears throat> All in all, the people that I knew firsthand that got banned from EU, they all came back the next day. They're like, yep, thank you guys for, you know, taking care of us, looking out for us and such. Because a bunch of us did post in the forums in in all these threads and, and such to, to get, you know, the, the answer provided um, for them. And... <clears throat> I mean, some people canceled their ESO Plus, which I think was a little bit, um, a little bit harsh in a way because the reason this started is because the, the trigger and I mean, I get it. I get it. I, I understand, but it's a little bit trigger happy, a little bit trigger happy. Anyways, um, other, other than that. That was a pretty interesting day. I did like the fact that the community over there in EU as a whole did um, what any community like the ones that we have in Elder Scroll Online would do um, in times of need like this and came together and tried to let everybody know what was going on and to like try to take precautions in order not to get banned. Um, it was pretty cool to see. I traveled to a couple of different zones because I started Sky Shard hunting, basically. And I was like, I'm not going to go into a trial. I'm not going to go into anywhere that's going to cause um, suspicion or whatnot. So I just went, did some Sky Shards, did some light farming over there. And in every single chat, in in-game chat, um, in the text box and in all the guilds that I was in That was just the constant talk people were talking and talking and talking about it And I'm sure something like this happens in ps4 and a um, it's gonna be the same thing um, I've seen I've seen it before I've just never been in EU or like at the prime time of something like this scale happening to to basically see that see that stuff but anyways folks um all in all is good the i'm pretty sure the maintenance that's gonna happen august 7th probably has something to do with uh with it so this this video is gonna come out right before the maintenance so you guys can listen and hear about this but uh, I'm sure the maintenance is going to take care of some of that stuff. All in all, here is the gold sellers. Um, I know when I'm in EU, I see the the one, the gold sellers, like just doing it over and over again. Um, and then somebody's saying, Prime stuff. Have anybody noticed this in zone chat recently? I've only started seeing this spam since they gave the game away for free on Epic. <clears throat> then said, saw it pretty frequently last night as I was questing in Canary Roost, which is interesting because that's one of the starter zones. Um, you need to cover up the names in that screenshot. Naming is not allowed on the forums. They're on PC you all the time. So it's probably the same guy. Yes, quite frequent, especially annoying that they sell crowns for money. The regional pricing policy has been implemented so well that it has given a rise to an entire secondary market of crown selling. It's clear that a solution is needed. 
Uh, same one was on NA2, just quite gold seller advertising. Um, it is, yeah. I mean, you guys are going to see all these uh, gold sellers in zone. Please, please don't do it. Okay? Don't do it. There's better ways to get gold in the game than to try to go against the terms of services. Because this is against the terms of services. To buy gold. Um, don't even talk about it. If you do it, don't talk about it in chat specifically. If you're gonna do it, go in PSN chat, go on Discord and do it through there. But don't do it. You can get your account banned. So, um, and I'm not gonna say like they're not scam. I, I'm not sure. I've never done it, and I've never like heard anybody that has done it so i'm not sure if it's a scam or not um it's i just wouldn't do it so wouldn't put my account in, ro in jeopardy now here's a new threat eso players seem more entitled than ever oh my goodness eso players entitlement figures especially after the current um <laughs> the current banning spree Every day you see new threads in which people are asking Sauls to make certain things easier to get or to give something that would require playing a different area of the game without actually having to pay. <laughs> uh, Mid-year mayhem when you get several threads a day. Um, some other examples are PvE players generally asking for PvE version of Cerdo. Um... To be honest, one thing that I would say would, because Imperial City is a DLC. One thing that I would ask is, it is a PVE version of Imperial City. Not necessarily of Cyrodiil, because Cyrodiil is a war zone, so I definitely, but I mean, Imperial City is not. So I don't, I don't think it's a bad idea to, to have a version of Imperial City where it's PVE. So the questers that want to get their questing done, they can go in there and do it. Now, Cyrodiil, nah, that's, that's a little bit too much, guys. But uh, players asking for access to endgame PVE trials... To further lower the gap between the floor and the ceiling. They've been asking these for a long time. So this guy says, I don't understand how it is so hard for players to accept there is stuff they won't get unless they take part in every part of the game. I've never done a trial in ESO simply because I can't be bothered to do PvE. Especially in a group of 12 people and I don't expect to get the rewards from trials while not while not doing them I barely ever get tickets from PvE events because they are super boring to me So I rarely take part, but it's that is just how it is. You don't get something if you don't do the content I mean, that's fair Generally a lot of people seem to be against other players being more effective than them. <laughs> yeah, even if it is because they put way more work. Oh my god, this is this is literally this is literally preaching to the choir. Um I mean, there's some stuff that like I the PvE version of Imperial City, they really should do that. Imperial City is a DLC. There's two dungeons in there. You know, there's Imperial City Prison and White Gold Tower. Like, why not have a PvE version of it? Um, I mean, as far as, like, the events and such, I mean, you need to do the event to get the tickets. That, that's, but, <laughs> this is, this is definitely entitlement right here, when they seem to be against other players being more effective than them even if it is because they put way more time and work in their characters or they're just skilled and constantly act like they're entitled to everything in the game simply because they bought it yes that is preaching to the choir 
<laughs> I've told people that they're going to nerf the heavy attack lightning builds months ago. They nerfed it a little bit, and now they're like, not completely killing it, but might as well kill it. There's, there's only a couple of trials that I think the new way with the heavy attacks are going to be okay. And believe me, it's not that many um, if you want to take like a whole group of heavy attacks. Nefes did a video recently showing the PTS version of what's going to happen. Because it's probably going to happen, guys. Like... It's not, they're not killing the build, they're lowering the build. You shouldn't be able to do, like, the new trial content on a cheese build. Not yet. Um, and people are like, you're crazy, Cougar, for saying it. Maybe, maybe so. But why... Are we letting people go out the easy route? That is what kills games because the players that have put more time and efforts into two bar builds, they're gonna come and say, well, screw this. Why am I working so hard? Making the game a little bit less challenging and just the reward aspect of it 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 kills the playability of the game basically that's where i'm getting at now i'm not saying that they should kill the heavy attacks um at all no they just need to bring it down to earth a little bit because i don't think their their whole um and they've been trying to like bring it down to earth uh as little as possible every single time to kind of like wean into it instead of like killing it completely and people bitching so i i applaud sauce for that but the 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 problem is people are entitled yeah um and i mean this guy says Customers are entitled to make feature requests. That's fair. I don't see the issue. Everyone has their own opinion about how they like the game to play out. Devs take the feedback from all types and then make a game that will sell to a broad range of people. Pretty much the nature of online games. Um, I agree. And, and for the most part, lately, Cinemax has kind of listened to us as far as, you know... Um, the, the, the community. So I'm not, especially with Necrom, after this year started, like, they, they've been doing really well about listening a little bit more than they have in the past. And Necrom was probably one of the best releases in a long time. Like, I hadn't had a lot of fun with Necrom since Morrowind and when they came out with Vardenfell. I think that was the last time that I've had as much fun in the game with a new chapter of the release. Most of the time, the other chapter releases are like, oh, well, whatever. It's a new chapter release. I'm going to go get my Mythic that I need. I'm going to go um, get my Sky Shards. Yeah. I mean, Tales of Tribute was nice, but... It wasn't, it wasn't as nice. Alright, so. I mean, tell me if you guys agree with it. <clears throat> tell me in the comments section if you guys agree with it. Um, you know, fish it out in Discord. And then this guy says, uh, feedback only says, what kind of guilds are you in? Is it all trading, maybe fishing, or something else? And then somebody says, I'm not in any guilds. <laughs> I mean, there's people that are not in any guilds. Um, it, it really depends. It really depends. This guy says, one big guild for trading, 
and two small social guilds that are basically dead at this point. Then why don't you leave? <laughs> I mean, if the guild is dead, probably leave. Um, two social guilds will usually also have traders, and one specifically for doing dungeons with people who will actually pay attention to the quest. Oh my god. Really? Huh? People pay attention to the quest? Hmm. That is pretty interesting. Most people don't do that. <laughs> The two social guilds organize events and activities, but since I can't commit to being online, the main appeal is just having people to talk to in guild chat and ask for help. That's fair. And I mean, our guild is, is mainly a social trading guild with a little bit of a big focus on trading and trials. Um, <clears throat> this guy says one PvP, one trading, and one beam me up. Drop other two others to cut back on things I do. Um, one social guild that has a sister housing guild, two personal banks, and a trial guild. Both parts of the social guild have a free trader. The trial guild sometimes has a free trader. My own one for solo players. Tried the other types, no thanks, never again. <laughs> wow. I mean, typical housing over here, guys. Four housing guilds, three have traders. As I have a special needs little angel, I can't commit to many events. And cons as they hold, but I can always spare a few moments to admire someone's new house build, give advice, and show off my new creations. Yep, yeah, there you go. One non-voice for PvE, one for RP, maybe one for trading in the future. Yeah, role-playing is a thing, by the way. Um, I have seen role-playing guilds. And kind of wanted to be in one kind of see you know what what to do when it comes to role playing and elder trolls but <clears throat> um most of these you know trading social and raid guilds if you guys want to know the the guilds that i have obviously cougar city my own and then i have a bank a guild bank uh guild then i'm in five finger discounts um that is a trading guild ran by hurricane he's he's a great guy he's also in cougar city very good gm takes care of his peeps um 100 a guild that i would highly recommend when you're looking for a trading guild he is uh 10k a week there you go my next guild is valhalla um valhalla is a raid guild um i'm mainly there for just pugging uh, raids and such. My main raid team is out of Cougar City. So it, I'm just there to pug raids. Once in a while, I'll go in there and um, I'll uh, help, out, help out a um, a prog team or whatnot when they ask. If I'm, you know, if I have time, I'm not busy, I will do that. I'll gladly help the guild. And they do have a trader every once in a while. So, um, obviously, Cougar City has a trader. Five Fingers, since they're trading guild, they have a trader. And then, last but not least, I'm in Legion of Azure. Um, they strive to have capital traders every week. So, it's a good capital trading guild um, that I can have to sell my wares. If Because uh, sometimes Hurricane does venture to the tree, to Wayrest and such, to Mournhold. But... Um, her um, hurricane usually sticks to Vec, um, Wayrest, <clears throat> Alinor, those kind of places. So I need, um, obviously, you know, I need to, to stick to to that. But <clears throat> I need a trading guild that's in the capitals pretty much the entire time um, instead of, like, half the time. But um, Legion, I believe, is 10k a week. And uh, Gyalandra is the one that runs it. And they have a sister guild called Nomads of Nern. Nomads is usually in Rimen or Ralka. Um, that's it's a smaller guild. It's like 2k a week though. Very, very cheap for 
you know, to get you into the starting game. Um, another uh, two guilds that are in Rim and Solitude that have very little maintenance fees is Diagon Alley, um, their whole branch of sister guilds, uh, Nocturne, the Burrows, <clears throat> um, Azkaban is one, and then Family Connections, um, just just came back to playing the game. Interestingly enough, his name is Just Playing the Game. <clears throat> but um, he just came back, and his guild is starting out. They they were a big, um, basically, Alinor, Vivek, Wayrest guild way back in the day. And he is striving to get it back to what it was. So, good luck, Just. I'm sure you'll get it done, bud. So, there you go. <clears throat> Those are the kind of guilds that I'm in. Um, be interested to know what kind of guilds you're in. Um, you can s tell me in the comment section and you know say, hey, I'm in a housing guild. I'm in an RP guild. I would love to know what you guys are in. And um, if you're looking for a specific guild, you know, just come to me. I might be able to help you, especially if it's trading. So there you go. <clears throat> then what's the most annoying thing people do in this game? <laughs> Personally, I think people that run a zombie train and then don't talk you what? Oh my goodness, I, I've never seen that before. That's edited for inappropriate content. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know what that was. <clears throat> when they apply to a guild with a blank app. I mean, fair enough. When pe I knew somebody was going to say this. I knew somebody wasn't going to say this. When people queue as tanks or healers, even though they're damage dealers, and rush to the random dungeon, leaving the group behind. I mean, an impaling shard spam. Oh, that ability's bright and hurts my head. Same with so many crown gem mounts like the Harrow Storm Bear and the Spirit Queen Welma. Me mudballing you. Not to do in the mechanics correctly. Never ask what the mechanics are. Won't listen to an explanation. Just kill other people repeatedly. Players who treat dungeons as a racetrack. That is a thing. Like, people get really annoyed. That is one of the most annoying things in the game, I think. It's from people's aspects. Speedrunners and dungeons. Look, there's so many people saying. Yeah, I mean... Boss get look people that players skip content in dungeons This is a pet peeve of mine those that leave half empty chests or resource nodes Just take it. There's a destroy option in the game for a reason. Okay <laughs> This is so weird though when a player calls out for help with a world boss, but they don't say where the boss is The icons on the map only name the location not which boss and mousing over doesn't tell that either. So instead of saying, need help with the world boss, need help with this world boss at this location. Players that go too slow in dungeons and tanks with no taunt. Dude, tanks with no taunts and healers with no heals. That's, that's, that's rough. When people want to group up for geysers and people that farm leads and do not fully empty out the source of the lead yes mispronouncing passion is what which makes me use this photo what is what is this oh my god people will take their time playing their hand and trivia oh my god yes oh my god yes this is a bad the other day i ran into one of these they, like, a game that should have taken me, like, five minutes at most took 20 freaking minutes because the guy was so slow. And before you say, like, oh, they're probably new. No, they weren't. They weren't actually a big rank. So, this is a rank game. It wasn't. Also, players be murder hoes in town. Oh my god. Wait, murder hobos. Are they talking about the players that go and murder people? Because that's me and EU right now. Like, Skywatch, better be prepared because I've been murdering there for three days straight. 
I have like a hundred K bounty <laughs> right now in EU. In one of my characters. I've been murdering. Ball groups in PvP and over oh my god, teabagging. That that is you can ban them people. Just say don't teabag me. <clears throat> yeah, most most of the people are like saying that <laughs> oh God, what the heck? Compulsive jumpers? What? <laughs> Oh, they probably talking about those PvPers and just jump and like just keep jumping. Oh my gosh, I know. Uh, not leaving the group after doing Dolman runs and just logging out without a word. Toxic positivity. I can't. <laughs> oh my god, this thread is gold. Fake tanks and fake healers. BG healers. Any somewhat decent healer just ruins the BG for both other teams, unless every team has a healer. So... Just because I'm healing a BG doesn't mean that... Motherfucker. <laughs> Seem to be somewhat bored players jumping about and spamming. <laughs> oh my god, I know, I know, I know this. Like, people, like, they just jump <laughs> I do this too. I do this too when I'm bored and I'm talking to people. <laughs> I do this. I actually do this, guys. I actually do this. I but I jump like I like parkour and stuff. <laughs> this is gold. This thread is gold. Leaving notes in chess. Yeah, like to be honest, it's that's one of my that's one of my things. So, anyways, um, thank you guys for uh, listening to me rant today in Cougar Talk. Our Discord link is right there on the screen if you would like to join our Discord. Um, if you're not in the game, come in the game. Join our guild. We have a lot of cool things happening. Our weekly raids are back. <clears throat> 4 p.m. Eastern is going to be the raids. Um... It's going to be just normal trials, no experience needed. I'll have um, more info later on it. And thank you guys to the people that boost our Discord server. Without you, you lovely, beautiful people wouldn't be where you're at. <clears throat> so thank you so much. And um, I mean, that's it, guys. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you you know what what is the mo most annoying thing that you have seen in the game um and what <clears throat> you could um you know what what you consider annoying if um, you didn't see it in the thing so there you go thank you guys for watching and have a great day <laughs>